Trans Audio presents the unabridged recording of The Andromeda Strain by Michael Crichton, performed by David Morse. Day 1. Contact. 1. The Country of Lost Borders. A man with binoculars. That is how it began. With a man standing by the side of the road on a crest overlooking a small Arizona town, on a winter night. Lieutenant Roger Sean must have found the binoculars difficult. The metal would be cold, and he would be clumsy in his fur parka and heavy gloves. His breath, hissing out into the moonlit air, would have fogged the lenses. He would be forced to pause to wipe them frequently, using a stubby, gloved finger. He could not have known the futility of this action. Binoculars were worthless to see into that town and uncover its secrets. He would have been astonished to learn that the men who finally succeeded used instruments a million times more powerful than binoculars. There was something sad, foolish, and human in the image of Sean leaning against a boulder, propping his arms on it, and holding the binoculars to his eyes. Though cumbersome, the binoculars would at least feel comfortable and familiar in his hands. It would be one of the last familiar sensations before his death. We can imagine and try to reconstruct what happened from that point on. Lieutenant Sean swept over the town slowly and methodically. He could see it was not large, just a half-dozen wooden buildings set out along a single main street. It was very quiet. No lights, no activity, no sound carried by the gentle wind. He shifted his attention from the town to the surrounding hills. They were low, dusty, and blunted, with scrubby vegetation and an occasional withered yucca tree crusted in snow. Beyond the hills were more hills, and then the flat expanse of the Mojave Desert, trackless and vast. The Indians called it the Country of Lost Borders. Lieutenant Sean found himself shivering in the wind. It was February, the coldest month, and it was after ten. He walked back up the road toward the Ford Econovan, with a large rotating antenna on top. The motor was idling softly, 